In grade 12, we start something called the proportionality theorem, and it has to do with triangles. So whenever you have a triangle where you have two parallel lines, so let's say over here these two lines are parallel, then you can say the following. You could say that AB over BC, so see what I've done there, I've chosen that one, and then I chose that one. Well, that's going to be the exact same as AD over DE. So I'm not saying that the length of AB is the same as AD. You can clearly see that these two lengths are not the same. But it is the ratio that stays the same. And I could choose other combinations. I could say AB, so that's this one, over the whole length from A to C. Then on the other side, I would choose AD, and then I would have to choose the whole length of AE. And in fact, you can choose any combination that you like. You could, for example, start with BC, and then make that go over AB, for example. Then as long as on the other side, you match it. So BC matches with DE, and AB matches with AD. And over here, whether you write a, a B, C, or C, B, that doesn't really matter. So you can choose any two on the left-hand side and make it equal to the other two on the right-hand side, as long as the order stays the same. So how would you do this in a test? What would the reasoning be? So in this question, we need to solve for X. So what we know is, for example, we can say that A, B, so we can say, for example, A, B over B, C, so that's this one divided by this one must be equal to, now you match it. So on that side, it's going to be AD over DE. Now, what would your reasoning be? Well, I've seen two different types of reasons that different students use. The more common one is people say prop theorem because that stands for proportionality theorem. And then you have to say which two lines are parallel. So we can say BD is parallel to CE. The other reason that I've seen some students use is they'll say AB over BC is equal to AD over DE, and then they'll say line parallel to one, well no, I think they just say to side of triangle. Line parallel to side of triangle. So just see which one your teacher uses. Um, but both of those are correct. Now we can go full in the different values. So AB is X plus 2. BC is 3. AD is X plus 8. And DE is 7. Now what we do in this moment is we cross multiply. So the 7 will go up to the top. And the 3 will go over there. So that's on the left. We're going to be left with 7. X plus 2 equals to 3 x plus 8 on the right. And then we just multiply out. So that's 7x plus 14 equals to 3x plus 24. And so if we do all the maths, we're going to end up with 4x is equal to 10. And so x is equal to 2.5.